What if I told you there's a structure in space so massive, light itself takes 10 billion years just to cross it? That's not a galaxy. That's not even a million galaxies. So what is it, and why do some scientists think it shouldn't even exist? Here's what we're doing today. We're going big, like incomprehensibly big. We're climbing a ladder of cosmic megastructures, starting with our own neighborhood and ending with something so enormous, it challenges everything we thought we knew about how the universe works. Along the way, you'll see walls of galaxies stretching farther than light has traveled since the dinosaurs went extinct. All right, first up, home base. This is the Laniakea Supercluster. And yes, you live here. The Milky Way, our entire galaxy with its 200 billion stars, is just one tiny speck inside this thing. Laniakea stretches about 520 million light years across. To put that in perspective, if you could somehow travel at the speed of light, 186,000 miles per second, it would still take you over half a billion years to cross it. Imagine the entire continental United States. Now imagine quadrillions of copies of it, stacked and stretched across space. You're still not even close. Here's what makes Laniakea special. It's not just a random clump of galaxies. Scientists in 2014 mapped it by tracking how galaxies flow through space, pulled by gravity toward a mysterious region called the Great Attractor. Think of it like a giant cosmic drainage basin. Every galaxy inside Laniakea is slowly sliding toward the same gravitational sinkhole. And this is just structure number five. We're just getting started. Okay, this one's brand new, like published in 2024 new. It's called the Kwipu, named after those ancient Incan knotted strings used for record keeping. And honestly, the name fits perfectly. Astronomers using X-ray data traced a branching, thread-like superstructure stretching over 1.3 billion light years. That's more than twice the size of Laniakea. Here's the wild part. The Kwipu isn't far away. It's one of the largest structures in our local universe. It's basically in our backyard, cosmically speaking. And we only just found it. Why did it take so long? Because this thing is so spread out, so diffuse, that you need incredibly precise X-ray observations to even see the pattern. It's like trying to spot a connect-the-dots picture when the dots are millions of light years apart. And here's something that might matter a lot. Structures this big can actually mess with our measurements of the universe. They create gravitational lensing. They affect how we calculate cosmic expansion. The Kwipu might be influencing data we've been collecting for decades. But we're not done. The next one? It was the first structure to make astronomers say, wait, that shouldn't exist. Back in 2003, astronomers working with the Sloan Digital Sky Survey found something that made them do a double take. A wall of galaxies, not a cluster, not a supercluster. A wall stretching 1.37 billion light years across the cosmos. Picture this, if you laid the Sloan Great Wall flat and tried to drive across it at highway speed, 70 miles per hour, non-stop, it would take you about 20 quintillion years. The universe itself is only 13.8 billion years old. Now here's where things get philosophically spicy. There's a rule in cosmology called the Cosmological Principle. It basically says that if you zoom out far enough, the universe should look the same everywhere. Smooth, uniform, no giant lumps. The expected limit for structures? About 300 million to 1.2 billion light years, depending on definition and method. The Sloan Great Wall? 1.37 billion. It pushed right up against that limit and made scientists uncomfortable. But honestly, Compared to what's coming next, the Sloan Great Wall is just the appetizer. All right, brace yourself. This one has a ridiculous name, and I love it. It's called the Huge Large Quasar Group. Yes, that's the actual scientific name. Huge LQG for short. Discovered in 2013, this structure is a collection of 73 quasars. Those insanely bright cores of ancient galaxies powered by supermassive black holes clustered together across 4 billion light years of space. Let me put that in perspective. Light from one end of the huge LQG left when the Earth didn't even exist yet. By the time it reaches the other side, our Sun will probably be dead. Now, here's the controversy. Not everyone agrees this is a real connected structure. 
Some astronomers argue it's more like a statistical fluke, a pattern we're seeing because we're looking for patterns. Quasars are incredibly far apart, and connecting them into one group depends heavily on how you define the boundaries. But if it is real, it's more than three times larger than what the cosmological principle says should exist. That's a problem. Or maybe it's a clue that our understanding of the universe needs an upgrade. Either way, there's one more structure left. And this one, possibly the largest structure in the entire observable universe. The Hercules Corona Borealis Great Wall. Estimated size, up to 10 billion light years across. That's roughly 10% of the diameter of the entire observable universe contained in a single structure. Now, I have to be honest with you, this one is controversial, really controversial. Here's why. Unlike the other structures, which we can map using visible galaxies or X-ray clusters, the Hercules Corona Borealis Great Wall was detected using gamma ray bursts, GRBs, the most violent explosions in the universe. In 2013, astronomers noticed that GRBs at a certain distance seemed to cluster together in one region of the sky way more than random chance would predict. They calculated the odds and suggested there might be some enormous underlying structure causing this pattern. But here's the catch. GRBs are rare. We don't have that many data points. Some scientists argue the clustering could be a statistical artifact, noise in the data that looks like a pattern. If it's real, it would seriously challenge assumptions about homogeneity at large scale. It would mean our models of cosmic evolution are missing something fundamental. And that's actually exciting, because in science, when observations break the rules, that's when breakthroughs happen. So let's recap. We started in Laniakea, our 520 million light-year home supercluster. We met the newly discovered Kuipu, a 1.3 billion light-year branching web in our cosmic neighborhood. We crossed the Sloan Great Wall, 1.37 billion light years of galaxies pushing against the limits of what should exist. We questioned the huge LQG, a 4 billion light year quasar clustering that might be real or might be a cosmic coincidence. And we ended at the Hercules Corona Borealis Great Wall, a 10 billion light year mystery that could rewrite our understanding of the universe. Here's the takeaway. The universe is not only bigger than we imagined, it's also lumpier, stranger, and more structured than many expected at these scales. Every time we build a bigger telescope or survey a wider patch of sky, we find something that makes us rethink the rules. So here's my question for you. If structures like the Hercules Corona Borealis Great Wall are real, what does that mean for the cosmological principle? Should we throw it out? Or is there something about gravity and cosmic evolution we're completely missing? Drop your thoughts in the comments. I genuinely want to know what you think. And if you want to go even deeper into cosmic mysteries, check out this video on dark matter next, because dark matter might be the invisible scaffolding holding them all together. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.